Hey, welcome to Generative Art with Flutter. This video is a part of a series of videos where I create a small animation effect using Flutter Canvas and show you how to code it up. In this episode, I'm going to create this falling snow animation. Nice and calming. It's almost like you are looking out of a window into the scenery. Pair this up with some lo-fi beats and relax until you can't move. <laughs> so what we have here is a nice image of a snowy mountain area and on top of that we will create this falling snow animation. Let's get to it. Here we are in our usual code. First thing to do is to create one particle and make it fall down. It is very simple. We create a particle with some color and radius and position. In the Painter canvas, we go and write the code to draw particles. Again, this should be quite familiar to you by now. We create a paint object and set the color and style, and then draw a circle with these properties. I'm adding the offset to the particle position so that we can see that at the center of the screen. There you go tiny little circle in the middle. Well, that's how all this starts and then snowballs. <laughs> okay, now let's move this ball. We do that in the update function. Again, this is quite simple. For each particle, we increment the vertical position by a small amount. And in order to get the little wiggly effect, we add a small random value to horizontal position. So the dx is the variable that you should pay attention to. We create a random number and then scale it to three and then subtract 1.5. So the random horizontal value is between minus 1.5 and plus 1.5. As you see, when the particle hits the bottom, we should reset its position to the original. This is so that we can reuse the particle without having to recreate more particles. Okay, now that we can make one particle fall down over and over again, let's create more of them. Move this code into a loop and then set a random x value along the horizontal axis. Okay, a little segue here to explain what screen size is. It is set in the build method of, of this class using media query call, which gets the dimensions of the actual screen. Another trick I learned recently is that if you set a dummy container as a child to the custom paint widget, it will accurately set the canvas size in the paint call. And here we are in the painter canvas, in the paint call, I'm computing the offset directly with the size parameter. Earlier without this, I had to pass the screen size into the paint canvas as a constructor parameter. Anyway, back here where we set the horizontal value of a random particle created. So let's see what this looks like. What the f Calm down, breathe in, breathe out. Let me remove the frame and reduce the particle count to see what's going on here. Let me also remove the offset so that particles fall down from the top of the screen. The reason for this is because Every particle has the same speed of falling down. 
Let's create a property in the particle class and set an individual speed for each particle. In the update function, we use the particle speed as the vertical position delta. Great. Now we can see that they fall down at different speeds, but still this is not realistic enough. When we look at snow falling, the flakes that are closer to us seem to move faster than the ones further away from us. So let's give each particle a depth. And the speed is divided by the depth so that we get this desired effect. Of course, we need to be careful to avoid division by zero so we can add a little offset to Z. One other thing is that particles which are closer should look bigger. This can be easily done by dividing the radius of each particle by its depth. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's add a bit of realism as well. So for this, we can adjust the, the opacity of each particle. We're going to change the opacity using Perlin noise because it gives a smooth variation. We use the particle position to set the opacity. A little dance we have to do is that this noise function returns values that are between minus one and, and plus one. I may have had this wrong in the previous videos. But anyway, the opacity must be between zero and one, so we can quickly scale this as such. Now we simply set the particle opacity when we draw the circle in the painter canvas. Alright, alright, alright. But snow is not black. We haven't reached that apocalyptic scenario yet. So let's paint the background dark and then make the snow white. This is good, but it could be better. Let's set a background image. So here I am in the painter init state. I've added a few images to the project as assets. When you do this, don't forget to add to the pubspec.yaml file. Once you have them, you can load an image using root bundle object. They are all async functions, so they have to be wrapped inside the then callback. Root bundle load returns a byte data object and then we pass that to a decode image from list function with a little conversion to list of bytes. And then finally, when we have an image object, we set it to BG image member variable. Note the use of set state here, so the framework redraws the widgets when the image is set. One more thing is that BG image is an image class from UI namespace. There's another image class in the Flutter widgets. That's why we are specifically using UI.image here. Great. So in order to draw this image, we pass it as a parameter to the painter canvas. 
So in the Painter Canvas, we shall draw this image before the particles and remove the black background. We are going to place the image in the center of the screen, so the top left coordinates can be computed like this. And now, we should see the background image and snow falling over it. This effect is very subtle and the contrast in this image is not good enough to see the snow properly. So let's change the background image to something else. Nice, nice, much better. Let's increase the number of particles. Yes, amazing, almost like the real thing. There you have it. Feel free to experiment and create amazing animations. My job here is to inspire you and give you some hints on how to create animations. Uh, if you create something awesome and want to share it on Instagram, I have an account where I promote generative art. Send me a DM with a link to your art and I will consider posting it on my feed. Details are in the description. If you like what I create, please take a few seconds to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if anything is not clear, ask me questions in the comments and I will try to answer all your uh, queries. Until next time.